Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today's design is going to be a simple tied sheaf. Now, some of you might not be familiar with what a sheaf is. Essentially, a sheaf is a, a tied spray of flowers that you could use for a presentation bokeh on a stage, for example. And that traditionally would be what would have been used as this big, big sheaf of flowers that's presented to whoever was performing. Or it can be used as an item that could go to a funeral or as a, as a gift as well. But essentially, it's a flat presentation of flowers. So to make it, we've got a range of different flowers and really the, the effect will be different depending on what you use. But the key thing is to have some good strong foliage. So what you're really wanting is some foliage at the back that is going to give you a base on which all your flowers lie. So what I've got is I've got some nice pine. Um, doesn't have to be pine, just see what you've got, see what you can use. Uh, this is actually a little bit of forsyth here. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna do like a spiral. So this is gonna be similar to what you would do if you were making a hand tie, but essentially it's gonna lie flat. So I've got some roses, some gladioli, some gypsophila, some nice calla lilies, and we're just gonna work them in. So the great thing about these gladioli is they're also creating a strength into our frame. Uh, and this is what we want. We want it to be nice and secure. So all we need to do is just really build it up. So I'm going to add a little bit of eucalyptus. But the gladioli is just actually really perfect for this because it is such a strong flower. Um, it's got a strength in the stem anyway, and this kind of flat piece to the leaves just works really, really well. But what you're wanting to do is really create a build-up of material that gives you a profile. So we don't want it just to be flat. We want it to have some style, some uh, shape to it as well. So really the, the most important thing you want to do first is to arrange all your flowers out so you can easily access them. And the bigger the surface, the better. And then we can really stagger our roses into our design. But the callas are kind of special, so we're going to keep them a little bit more central. Now, one thing you can do as well is you can roll up little bits of moss or little pieces of moss and use them as spacers. That will help give you a profile. Uh, it will help build up the space that you need. So these are nice, but I want to keep them. So this item is quite a traditional item and um, way back when you used to go to the florist and in fact in some places this still happens you go into the florist and they will create what you need in front of you as you're choosing your flowers so this was really that kind of item where people would choose their flowers and the florist would create it in their hand there and then for the customer so the beauty is it's straightforward to make, but it's also a very environmentally friendly sort of uh, bokeh or choice to go for as well, because there's no floral foam, there's no mechanic other than the fact that you're tying it, which is just perfect. So the only thing is it does get a little bit fiddly here because it's getting bigger and thicker and wider and that's where it's important to have a good tie point um, and to have stripped off some of the material from the base of the material you don't really want to be doing 
adjusting your material as you're making the arrangement. So you can see we've got a nice sheaf, we've got a nice tied area, but I still want this to have a bit more going on just down here. Now if you feel that it's actually a real struggle holding it, you can use your counter as a balance. That works well. Um, and you can also tie it and then add more. Um, so give it a pre-tie and then add a little bit more. Now the other thing as well, because this is tied, we can actually just adjust this a little bit. So we can adjust the way that things are facing and we can get them to sit in different ways. With the aspidistra here, I can use it to fold back. And to be honest, this is about as much as we're going to get in this comfortably. <laughs> so. Just, mm. This is just uh, organic twine, so rather than a synthetic. And if you use something that will biodegrade, then ultimately the bokeh can be kept as one, but it can then just be um, put out into the compost uh, and you don't have to worry. So. Let me just tie this. And you want this to be secure. In fact, if you really want to make it very, very secure, you can tape over it as well. So like the tape that you would use to fix Oasis into a container. So this, for example, we could use this tape to bind round over our tie point and that would give it absolute security. So what we've got, we've got a nice line, we've got nice variety of foliage. We could try and get a bit more volume here if we wanted, but as I say, it depends on your budget. So all we need to do now, I just need to get my good scissors, is to create a ribbon that we can use for tying this off, but also to trim these stems. Now your stems are going to look different every time because they're not all uniform, they're not all the same, and you want to just kind of judge what you've got. So I would say we take it like this. You don't want to cut short. If this was to here, it's just going to be out of scale with this size. Um, so really, if this was two thirds, we could actually have the stems as long as this, but it just so happened these were quite short. So you do want a little bit of stem just to balance off the actual design. And as a ribbon, I've got this nice natural ribbon that I thought would be a good choice. And Nice to have a ribbon that's maybe a little bit more special as well. We've essentially got a design here that is quite floral. It's probably a high value version of this design. So it's nice to put a good ribbon on it that matches the quality of the flowers. So I've just tied a simple loop bow, which is really easy. And what I'm going to do is go behind, tie above, and then come under and tie below. And you probably just need the one. And there we go. We've got a simple tied sheaf of flowers. So this is ideal for presenting on stage, but it could be used as a remembrance 
design or for a sympathy design as well. And it's up to you what flowers you use, but you're going to get a different effect depending on the flowers. But I would use ones that have got strong stems with some strong foliage behind to really give you support. Hope you've enjoyed today's design. If you have, then click here to subscribe. We've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for our next design.